Hey guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Julia and I make new videos every week helping to teach and inspire you to maximize your wardrobe by one, shopping your closet first and foremost, and then two, strategically making purchases when you're out shopping so you're not throwing your money away. Hello. Key to, it's the key to success right there. The key to success. You'll also find tons of shopping vlogs and other daily vlogs um, on my channel as well. Today, I'm going to share five different ways to style a classic sweater dress. It is a quintessential item for a fall and winter wardrobe stable. If you don't already have one, I'm going to help you justify your purchase today because you absolutely need a sweater dress in your arsenal. It is key, key, key. It's kind of like throwing on pajamas, yet, you know, looking like you have your life together. So it's a twofer. You're comfortable and you look chic and put together. Two for one, she won. You need one if you don't have one, that is for sure. So go ahead and grab a hot mug of hot cocoa, maybe some tea, maybe some coffee, a wine if you're a boozer. I'm not. Clearly, I am a little under the weather, so mine is a concoction of ginger roots, uh, it's a ginger root, lemon juice, and ACV apple cider vinegar. I thought I had the flu, but I believe it's bronchitis now. <laughs> or maybe it was the flu and now it's bronchitis. I don't know. So I'm struggling to get my life together. Um, this is my favorite, total side note, this is my favorite current mug because I was doing a um, store run on Instagram and I went by this mug and I was like, what does this mean? no L's, like no losers, like what? And then when I watch my stories back, I'm like, uh, no L, like, hello, no L. Like, no, you can't see it. I'm afraid to dip it out. It says no L in there though. <laughs> Anyways, everyone DM'd me and they're like, Julia, it's no L, you fool. <laughs> so now it's my favorite mug. We're, we, have a, we have a thing going on. Anyways, grab your beverage, let's get started. So to give you guys a look, this is a sweater dress we're styling today. It's just a basic sweater dress. I have my shorts on underneath, hence the line. Um, it's just a basic sweater dress. You can style a bodycon sweater dress, a basic sweater dress, a really loose fitting sweater dress. We're gonna mostly layer this, and by mostly we're layering it. You don't have to wear your bedroom slippers. You can wear real shoes with yours. But I just wanted to give you an idea of the dress before we start layering, so you could see it like head to toe. Okay, so our, for our first look, we just threw over a poncho. Um, I'm gonna tell you a story about that in a second. And we're just gonna uh, all gray, monochromatic look. It's just something about a monochromatic look that just really elevates anything. And it can make something very inexpensive look like it costs a little bit more money um, just by keeping the tones in the same family. This still has the tag on it because I thought it was a scarf. I thought I was buying a scarf. And I got home and I'm like, I'm gonna wear my scarf. And then I found out it was a poncho. So I was like, well, I will, our cape, I don't know if you call it, I guess a cape, I don't know. Um, so I was gonna return it and I was like, wait a second, that would be a really cute look for someone that does like a cape poncho style. Um, but I'm returning it because I want an actual scarf. Anyways, but this is just like a really cute look. Um, you can go out to dinner, it's something you could wear to work. I mean, I feel like you could do a lot with this where it's a little more dressy. Um, I have some casual looks as well, but this is a great dressy option for you. And then if you don't like ponchos, you can always do a really massive scarf. And there you go. Look one. So for a second look, we are doing more casual. I love pink and gray together. You know I love my Adidas. So I threw on an Adidas track jacket with just some basic um, Adidas superstars. There's, I mean, there's not much to say about it <laughs> other than it's just a really cute, casual look. It's great for the weekends. Uh, it's great for running errands. If you just want a relaxed um, feel and look and you want to feel cozy, but still look like you're put together and you have your life together, I think this is a great option as well. Do a full backup. So there we go for look two, soup cash. All right, look number three. I was unsure about this and then I put it on. And I was like, oh my gosh, are we not going shopping with our mom and grandma and aunts and everybody? We're going Christmas shopping. Like, this is exactly what this says to me. Hello, Christmas shopping. I love it. Um, I just took, once again, we're keeping it monochromatic. We have the Heather Gray dress, a Heather Gray um, puffy vest. 
I guess I should get closer into the mirror, huh? And then we kept it casual one with the vest. The vest dresses it down and then obviously Ugg boots, but we still keep it glam with the sequins and the color and then keeping the um, our base, our outfit, the clothing uh, monochromatic with both the Heather Gray. And then we added just a fun um, mint bag to coordinate with the Ugg boots. I love this, this is so cute. Hey, some of this I don't try on until I'm ready to record it, so I don't actually know until I put it on. But I love it. Look, three. All right, our, oh, you can see the So fourth look, we threw our, um, we put our sweater dress on, obviously, and we just threw a nice um, mid-thigh coat. It's a little dressier with an over-the-knee boots. Um, I feel like the most common way we see, oh, and a hat. I feel like the most common way that we see sweater dresses styled is with over-the-knee boots. That's like the most popular way to wear it, and I'm sure that's how you've seen it worn a million and one times on social media. <clears throat> yes, that was shade. Um, but <laughs> but the re I mean, if it's cold outside, that's the best way to keep you warm while still being able to wear the dress, so it's totally, totally understandable. Um, this is just, once again, there's a super chic way that you can um, style a sweater dress. You can wear this to work without the hat. You can wear it to happy hour. Um, just a more formal uh, event is, is what I would do this for. Um, I can take this off and show you without just the boots and then the sweater uh, dress as well. Give me one second. Just to give you guys the idea of just the sweater dress with the um, OTK boots. I am getting a new mirror, a wider one, so that we don't have to have all this negative space. Um, but just bear with me. That should be in the next um, video or two or three. We'll have a, a better setup here. But we got to work with what we have while we have it. Back to the program. Um, this is just a sweater dress with just the basic OTK boots, which you've seen a million and one ways. And it's always going to be cute. It is always going to be cute. And it's always going to be a good look. Now you can see my lighting. <laughs> Wait a minute. Oh man, it's all right, no big deal. All right, our fifth and final look. I'm pretty obsessed with this. I may have taken it too far with the hat, maybe. We don't know, maybe I'll take it off and show you without the hat. This is just a very chic look. Um, this says like holiday Christmas cards. We're going to get the Christmas tree. Um, I don't know, where are we going? Anything with red and black buffalo plaid screams holiday to me. Um, we've definitely chiced it up with the black lace up um, booties, like hello, and made it a little casual with the hat. I don't wanna take the hat off. Let me show you guys. I hate that you can see the lighting, but what can you do? Um, yeah, so this, I mean, that's this is it. This is the final look. Final look right here, Where's I'm into it. I'll take the hat off for you guys. I don't feel good about it, but I'll do it. Oh, oh. All right, and then that's without the hat. It, a hat makes the biggest difference, good, bad, and different. Um, you can always do like a Baker Boy hat or a wide brim hat. You just, you know, you have hat options if it's cold, okay? So there you have five ways to style a sweater dress for fall and winter. Um, I mean, I don't know if you're going to wear it for spring and summer, but maybe. Hey, who knows? But these are how you sell fall and winter. Um, thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to see more ways to maximize your wardrobe, five different ways to style, check out my blog, juliamariebee.com. And there's a whole little section, maximize your wardrobe. And it's all of my posts, whether they're just a blog post or a YouTube post. And it's me styling one item five different ways, sometimes 10 different ways, depending on the post. And then of course, you can always find those videos on YouTube under the style tips um, category on my page. If you enjoy this video, please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe, share with your friends, especially if they're trying to shop their closet and come up with ideas. This would be great for them. So make sure to share with them as well. And we will see you guys next time. Bye.